What's up guitarist, Jacob Petrosian here. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the song Guilty All The Same by Linkin Park. So let's start off by getting our guitar into drop D. That's D, A, D, G, B, and E. And let's get into it. The first riff goes like this. Okay, so how we're starting this off is we're going 057, 058, 08. So let me play that slowly for you. Okay, now with this one here, I like to use my first finger on five, barring the first three strings, my third finger on seven, and then my pinky on eight there. Okay, so something like this. And what comes after that is we're going to be playing some 16th notes or semiquavers between 7 and 3 here. Sounds like this. Okay, so four strums on each one. Uh, I like to use my pinky on 7 and my first finger on 3 here. But if you want to, you could use your first finger on both of them there. Now the next part is pretty much exactly the same, except we're going to be finishing up on 10 and 7 here. So let me play the whole second part for you. The same deal, I like to use my pinky on 10 there, and then my first finger on 7. Now this whole part repeats again, but on the very last time, it changes it up a little bit. So let me play the last time for you. Okay, so that was done a little bit slower, but basically the very last time, instead of doing the, the 10 to 7 finish, we're just going to be doing 6 opens, and then we've got a bit of a, okay, that's done pretty slow, so in the actual recording it sounds something like, alright, so give that a go, and then we'll move on to the next part. Alrighty, so this next riff here is probably the reason why I wanted to learn this song in the first place. And it goes a little something like this. Okay, so I'm playing this riff using octaves. I don't think they actually play that in the original. They just like play it on the A string. So if you do find that the octave shape is a little bit overwhelming, then just feel free to use the A string only, okay? Um, so if you don't know an octave shape already, this one here starts off fret five on the A string, and we're gonna be using fret seven on G, okay? First finger on A and your pinky on G there. Now that one there, I like to use alternate picking as well. Um, on the A string, we're moving five, seven, eight which means on G, it's going to be 7, 9, 10, okay? Once we've done that, 5, 7, 8, we're moving back down just to 7, 5, okay? And this one here, as I, as I said, it's always alternate picking, okay? Then we've got a quick little 5 to 7, or on G, 7 to 9. And then we're going to be staying on fret 4, for a couple of strums there, so that's four and six. Okay, four, 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 five, seven. All right, so let's play this whole thing from the start. Now, as you're hanging out on four for a little bit, I don't mind if you just do downstrokes. In fact, I encourage you to do that. Okay, now, the next part is pretty much the same as the first, but we've got a little bit of variation here. So it starts off like this. Okay, so five, seven, eight, seven, five. And then a quick five, seven, just like the first time. But now we're going... Okay, eight, 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 ten. And then seven, seven, seven. 
And then you want to, yeah, you want to start it off just like the first one, which is on five and seven there. Okay. So one more time through this whole riff, and then we'll move on. Alrighty, so the next riff that we're gonna be doing is the second guitar part which gets played underneath the octaves. It's also the predominant riff in the second chorus of the song. It goes a little something like this. Okay, so pretty much all we're doing is that we're playing single notes on the A string, which is always followed by a pull off to open. Okay, first couple of notes that we're doing. Okay, we're just gonna be doing this little ascending line, which is five, seven, eight, ten, followed by eight, seven, five, eight. Now just piece that all together like this. All right, this is great pull off practice here. Now the next part, nice and easy. It's just seven on the A string. Okay, just like that. So with the first part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So literally just two bars pulling off on the seven there. Now the first part repeats again. But now we're going to be coming down to three for, um, for four, four notes there. And then we're going up to seven again. Now this whole part just repeats twice. Just as a little side note, I'm gonna tell you about the chords that are being played in the verses here. So we're starting off with D minor, followed by A7. Then we're going to B flat major, then to F and C. Okay, now that pretty much repeats the whole time. And then in the little pre-chorus thing, uh, we're going to B flat, the C, and then A7. Okay, before going into the chorus again. Now we're going to have a look at the post-chorus riff. And this one happens after the second chorus and the third chorus. It goes something like this. Okay, so what we're starting off with is, I like to do an open strum on the first three strings, then a little palm mute before going 13 to 12. Okay. And that's a bit of a bit of a pull off there from 13 to 12. Okay. After that, you're gonna be going. So you're basically replacing the open strum with some fretted notes here, okay? And the first one we're replacing it with is eight. So after this point. So the rest of the riff after that first strum there is going to be the same as before. So it's palm mute on the first three and then the pull off from 13 to 12. Okay, after we've played the part with eight, we're going down to seven. Okay, finally, we're going to be finishing it up with. Okay, so that's three, three, and then six, six, six. There you go for all your metal heads. Okay, so the whole thing in one go. Okay, now we're having a look at the bridge riff, which is the last riff in the song. So this one here appears with the rapping after the little post-chorus riff. And it goes something like this. <laughs> Okay, there's another variation of it, which goes like this. Okay, so 
Okay. Now to define the two in regards to where they happen, one of them happens with the drums and then the other one happens when the drums aren't playing. Okay. So be sure to listen out for that and you'll be able to get it. Okay. I believe in you. Now to explain the riff, that's the first half of it. So we're just doing two open strums on the first three strings. Now we're doing like a quick open to eight and then the same thing to seven. Okay, from the start again. Now we're gonna be doing a couple of strums. So that's three, three, six, six, six. Okay, this one repeats a couple of times. So let's try to do it twice in a row, nice and slow. Okay, now having a look at this other variation here, which is the one I believe happens when the drums are playing as well, it goes like this. Okay, so this little run here, it's um, 05, 03, 0131, okay? And you've just got a few open open palm mutes on the first three strings. So one more time, I'll just do this little run here. Okay, and it's a, it's a hammer on to three from one, and then you pick one again. All right, so let's play this riff twice in a row now. Okay. Repeats a couple of times. Now, right at the end of the riff, before it goes back into the last chorus, it goes like this. Okay, so basically you just got that little run there repeating a couple of times at the end there. There you have it. That is the whole song Guilty All The Same by Linkin Park. So well done for clicking on this video. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions about the theory or any of the riffs in the song, please do leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. So good luck with it. Keep on rocking and I'll see you in the next tutorial.